For anyone that has any Milwaukee M12 tools, you know that they can really help out in a pinch. Well, I'm gonna tell you what, today, my friend, I got a story that's gonna put the hairs on the back of your neck straight up. So it started around two years ago. I planted brand new pine trees and the ones closest to the wood started getting eaten up. And I thought it was deer, but I realized that really wasn't the case. But you can see they're dead kapuski. But I put brand new landscaping in around the back patio and well, it's starting to happen again. The branches are being eaten. You know, you can tell I'm not happy about this. So what else could I do? Set up a video camera and catch the critters in action, seeing what's going on. I had to put a stop to this. You know, I thought it was gonna be easy, but you can clearly see in this video footage that all of my new pine trees are in place. They are there, but I caught this deer. I thought that was the only issue. So I figured I'd just sneak up and well, take care of the problem, if you know what I mean. Hey! No, no, you don't eat those trees. Problem solved. You're cute though. Go, okay. So I thought. Vamoose. The next evening I set up the camera again, but I noticed that one of my trees was absolutely gone, missing, but another deer running through the frame. What happened to my tree? All right, enough deer. Out, out. Ow! You don't eat my trees! Ow! Ow! I don't teach them. The next night was even crazier. Not only was another tree missing, but now there was three deer and, well, that stupid one running through again. What the heck is going on? Ugh! I mean, things just got crazier and crazier. More deer and antelope and all that stuff and that stupid one running across, they kept showing up, but now I only had one tree left. Again, all of my trees disappearing. I was getting so freaking upset. I put so much money back into that landscaping. I tried everything to get rid of them, everything to scare them and nothing worked. But the last night, my friends, that's when it hit me. That's when I knew, my oh, stupid deer running through again. That's when I knew there was more to this story than meets the eye. Yeah, that's right. Is that a hot tub? And a tap beer cake? Ah. I knew who was behind this, and I was gonna take care of the issue. Watch the camera very closely, and you'll see exactly who I'm talking about. It was that no good, rotten, pesky Makita gnome. I knew I needed to get rid of this pest once and for all. I brought out the big guns. And you know what? He just laughed. He just laughed at them. I threw everything I had at him. But he just stood there looking at me. Those creepy pesky eyes. I knew that I needed something. I knew I needed something to keep him away. I may have won the battle, but I needed to win the war. That's when it hit me. The all new M12 Milwaukee IA M12 Fat Ray. Sprayer, yeah, that's right. Two freaking gallons. You put a little bit of something something in here, and well, you ain't gonna have no issues no more. You got two latches, one on each side. You just open those up like so. That's right, the top pops right off. You're gonna get your wand right there. You're gonna get a couple different attachments and that sweet, sweet M12 bat ray. I'll put a link in the description below for you. Now, you're gonna have your two gallon marks right here. It's gonna tell you how much you have in your container. You're also just gonna take that lid off right there, and that's real nice, like, because it's a cup. It's gonna have measurements on the side as well. So, if you gotta put a certain amount of ratio in there, well, you can do that. You also got that strainer, but don't throw this out. That's going to allow you to adjust different patterns, different sprays, if you will. Oh, I was very excited to put that deer and gnome repellent down on the bottom of those trees. You just fill that up, lock that down on top like so, lock the other side down, boom, it ain't going nowhere. You got a couple feet of hose, you got that wand up on top. I'll show you how that works. It's real nice, like it's protected too, so if, even if you rub it up against something, it ain't gonna break. Just tighten that down right there and well, about ready to start spraying. Now, you push that trigger, and that's going to allow you to, well, spray. It's a variable speed. If you wanna lock that so somebody doesn't accidentally push it, well, that's real nice like it too. Now, you do have 17 feet of spray distance with that nozzle on. Don't worry, we'll use that here in a bit. But I figured we'd use the, well, pattern nozzle that comes with this, and we'll, we'll talk about the swath, right? So it's red to go. We're gonna put in our M12 bat ray here, oh yeah. And you got three different settings, and you're on and off, and you also got your indicator saying how much your bat ray life is left. So we'll push that, that shuts it off, push it again, turns it on, you got one, two, three settings. So on low setting one, the flow rate is 0 0.1 gallons per minute. On setting number two, you get 0 0.2 gallons per minute, and then on high, you got 0 0.3 gallons per minute. You can see this is on high, you got that real nice spray swath 
I'll let you hear this in a bit, but I'm telling you, this is low. You don't even hear this thing running. It is fantastic. And again, no pumping. So that is your 0 0.1, your 0 0.2. That's your medium. That's your spray. And then you got three again, which is really going to start putting some stuff out. This is so freaking awesome. And I was red to go. Get it? Red to go because it was a Milwaukee IA tool. Never mind. Anyway, so if you're a farmer, landscaper, you got some fruit trees, you need to spray that stuff, you're getting rid of the bugs, the wasps, whatever, check this thing out. I mean, really, really good coverage. No pumping at all. It just covers that entire area, and it's so smooth. I mean, look how that fans out. And again, this is on high right now. If you wanted to go low, you wanted to go medium, whatever. But check this out. You want to go even further, 17 feet. This is what I was going to use to get that gnome. Look at that. Look at it. Take a listen to this thing. I actually had to turn the volume up on this clip just so you can hear it. Oh, I love this thing. And again, you can adjust that PSI from 20 on low up to 80 PSI. It's real nice like. And speaking of 80, with the 2.0 bat ray that this comes with, you can spray up to 80 freaking gallons before you have to recharge or put another bat ray in there. And it's so nice. It, it folds up. It, it's very portable, very easy to store. And again, I love that you can reach higher wasp nests up in the air. If there's spiders on the ground, you're, you're trying to get some pesticides on your trees. It's, it's definitely real nice like. So you can buy these in different sizes, but the one we used today was the two gallon. And again, Milwaukee well, IA did a fantastic job. If you buy this kit, you're looking around 199. I do want to point out though that you only got a one year warranty on the tool, that's the top, the motor, and one year on the tank. So not that long of a warranty. And as of today, I want to give you a great, great update. I have not seen any deer or that pesky Makita gnome after I put down the repellent around the trees and on the trees. I'm telling you, this thing really, really worked good, even for that pesky Makita gnome. Now, if you like this video, I got more for you right here. We'll be back with more videos soon.